guys, so this is a new video and it's Poundland, which I'm so, so shook about. So if you like this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first the concealer. I, just looking at this, this looks like an exact copy of MUA's packaging. And I think maybe Rimmel's one. Oh look, got my handy dandy receipt here. Okay, so this is in the colour sand. Or oh, this covering anything, my highlight, but it's got a weird... Is that slanted? You know what? Don't think I'm moaning just because it's from the town shop. Because I'm sure they do some good products, but yeah, that ain't covering anything. That is just so white for me. Let's see it's highlighting because that's not really covered. It might look on the camera, but I can still see. My spots, it's probably just covering the redness. And you shouldn't need to put this much concealer on just to cover a spot. It gets dirty really quickly, there's all that hairs and all that on it now. So it looks very good for hygiene reasons. Stick some up here. So for this video, the sun is just going to be in and out today because it is morning for once I'm recording this in the morning that seems better and they can see what I mean I might have to keep putting the light in up and down this concealer looks like it's going to be good for highlighting but not to cover your spots it doesn't look, it's not that bright now I've made it darker, it looks way brighter than it is in real life. It blends in perfectly. It doesn't look like I've got white under bags. So for me that concealer wasn't... I wouldn't say it's worth a pound. I mean it's worth a pound but it's just not worth it to buy it. In your, and have it in your like regular makeup routine. So next we're trying the foundation. This is in beige for it says it's long lasting but says it has a flawless matte finish natural lasting the fact this is natural lasting probably means it doesn't have any coverage really i mean four pound how much coverage are you really gonna get so let's try this out i know this is a pound but look there's hardly even any product in it and I know this hasn't been used because there was plastic around it when there's plastic on everything that I bought. So the fact they've literally filled up. Oh my god, look at that. Half of it, there's no product in it. It might be a pound, but jeez. Okay, so there's actually, let me, it's coming out now. All of that is gone, so really it should, it should be that short instead of this long because I mean wow weren't expecting that I look so white oh my god look at like my real forehead colour compared to this I'm actually surprised I make any foundation suit me because in real life it it doesn't look you can't see white to tan it matches Okay, so now that's on, I mean look, that redness that was there before has gone, I look really, I do look flawless, and surprisingly, the cheaper foundation that I am using hasn't given me that cakey look, especially on the forehead bit, but who knows, once I put their proud on, I could get that cakiness. Yeah, I have no faults. It's quite nice actually. Definitely good, especially as a pan for an everyday foundation. The only problem is that you probably gonna have to go if you do use this every day, you're gonna have to go back and get it more than you should have to because literally before you even use it, half the product ain't even there. 
and let's see how, how much okay this is 30 mils that's quite good so this is 30 mils and it's a pound compared to my Mac which is 25 mils and it's like 27 pounds obviously there's a big difference in quality coverage and everything else and long wearing yeah this says it's supposed to be long lasting doesn't say how many hours it's enriched with vitamin E filters and added protection so that's the size difference 30 and 25 so I mean <laughs> you can literally buy a 27 for the price of the one Mac so yeah now let's move on to powder I want to show you something all the the powder bonds and like highlight look exactly the same packaging okay so this is the powder it's in translucent one contains vitamin E again it's a matte powder for a shine free finish so good for anyone oh my god this smells amazing the foundation smells a bit like poop it stinks so don't sniff it oh my god this smells like I want to say because of the like a bit in here because the foundation has it and it stinks but this smells like hair products like black people hair products God, what is something? It's like that like hair wax. It smells like the kind of like gel wax type. Oh, I forgot what it's called. It smells like that baby one. Like the pink. I forgot what it's called. It's baby something. Anyway, it smells amazing. Okay, so the powder is done. Taking a look in my mirror, it's just giving me a straight, smooth surface after the foundation. But the foundation on its own gives you like a nice, natural look. But this kind of makes you more like flawless. Like it's just smooth. It does give you that. It does give you that powder you look if you look closely. And I was going to be looking that close to you. So let's move on. Shall we move on to the bronzer shimmer? So I've got the shimmer in medium four because I like a dark one and I think four is the darkest they have. And it's not even that dark really. So this contains vitamin E and UVA and UVB filters. So let's see. It's quite, yeah, it's quite brown. I don't know if someone dark, like way darker, would get away with this as a bronzer. I might not show up on them. So let's take my powder brush. Okay, first wipe, you can get quite a lot. So I turn to the side so you can get that wow factor. Wow, not bad for a pound. I mean, I bought more expensive bronzers and they don't <laughs> do that. Yeah, after blend, it looks more intense on camera, but in real life, it's barely even there. And like once you blend it out, you can't really see it. Okay, it's very, very natural. I just blend it out, you can, it's like barely there. So if you're into that, I mean, you should definitely try it. You can probably tell a bit more now on camera. Okay, now the bronze is done. It is so so natural. It's not the type of bond that I'm into. But saying that, it was something it would be something come to use again. Because it blended easy, you don't have a line. It's it's pretty good. Like this is the type of bond you could probably take on holiday and you wouldn't like if it broke you wouldn't care because it's a pound. But it's very it's very nice. That's all I'm gonna say, it's very nice. Okay, so next we are going to do highlight. The thing about their range is it's not that good, meaning this is the only highlighter they have. It's in pearl shimmer. How this looks. You get quite a lot. I wonder if this could be like bam whamming your face. Or you're going to hardly see it because it is cheap. So let's see. <laughs> oh my god. That highlight though, 
Wow, okay, so yes, it's one bam in your face. Oh my god. <laughs> I love being shocked. This is probably better than some. This is probably better than some other higher brand highlighters. Okay, so just put my highlight on, and I'm so impressed. Like, look at that, I'm shining from the stars above. So this is a pink colour, it gives you... It's not that bad, it's more on the white side than the pink side for me. But who knows, depending how light or dark you are, it could show up quite pink. Next, what shall we move on? Shall we do the brows? The annoying fact about this is, this is the only brow they have. They have a brow kit, they don't have any brow pencils. And then the brow kit is basically, they have a white shimmer, so I'm guessing that's to highlight. And then they have like a light, medium and dark. So if you're anywhere in between, maybe like a redhead or a really blonde, I don't think these colours would really work for you. Or if you had like stark black eyebrows. I don't think that will work. But let's see. And another thing is, it doesn't come with like a brush, it doesn't come with a spoolie. So you basically need to have the things already in your collection. I'm going to use the darkest one there is. Look how dark that is. Okay, I'm going to try the lighter colour on this side and see if it blends in, because that is dark. Bear in mind that I have not, like, washed it out with spoolie. Okay, yeah, I think this colour is a bit better. See, so darker brows than me, then use the darkest one. I mean, I can get away with the darkest one, because my hair's dark. But yeah, this is quite dark, compared to this one. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna be that good to wear every day, because it's a powder. So if you have short brows, you, can't, you won't be able to draw them longer so it's really only if you want to look fuller I was just getting this otherwise there's no point okay, let's see if I can um, try and draw a tail okay that's way too light let me see if I can draw a tail with the darker one Okay, the darker one looks a lot better. Now I've got like one light, one dark. But I'm going to leave that just for the video. But yeah, I would not suggest the brows. It's, they're not that good. I don't think... For, bra for good looking brows, I don't think you should really be using powder. Because you can totally see the fake like, like tail I've drawn. I feel it would be better and look more natural if it was a pencil or a gel. The dark one is good for a tail. The lighter one, even though it made it blended in with my eyebrow, when I tried to draw it, you could see like just like a line. And because it's lighter, it didn't look good. Okay, so I'm trying the eyeliner next. It is in glitter, so I have no hopes for this going anywhere. <laughs> Okay, trying to record eyeliner is so difficult because normally I need to be close to the mirror or I need to have my hand resting. I don't know, a lot of people don't record their eyeliner because it's easier that way. Oh god, it's got one of them. I hate these type of. I feel like because it's glitter, there's going to be no pigment there. This is okay. Let's just go ahead and try this. Okay, there's not a lot of pigments, so you're gonna have to do this a couple times. This honestly isn't bad. Like, say I wanted to do a cut crease or whatever, and I wanted like a glitter, I feel like this could be good. 
or maybe do your eyeliner and then put this over it on top but on its own it's going to take a while because you have to like build up the colour like you do with nail polishes but I mean it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad okay guys I'm back with you now can I just say in terms of if it's good or not I'll say no towards the time it takes you have to really build it up so if you're in a rush this is a product you're going to want to use because you have to proper like, dedicate some time to it but just looking at it it's it looks good I've got glitter eyeliner it's not just like glitter where you can like cliff like see through it's got like a grey blacky base to it so you could get away with it actually being an eyeliner and it's not just like glitter sprinkled across your eye so yeah I like that so far I'd be interested to see how it would work into the like, eye looks next I'm going to use the mascara it claims it plumps up the volume so the volumizing one it's got a conditioning formula enriched with panfino and keratin it's 8 millimeters. sounds great but let's see how curly or long it can make my lashes Oh my god, I'm so impressed. I don't think you can even tell. But okay, let me just say that this is better. Wait for it. Yes, no, I'm not gonna say anyway. This is better than the makeup revolutions. It makes your lashes longer. This can easily get clumpy, but you just gotta be careful the way you apply it. But it separates your lashes, it makes them long. It gives them like a tiny curve, not much though, but this is really good. I wouldn't say, I mean, I've liked better mascaras. I'm not going to be like this thing I'd put into my makeup routine. But for a girl that doesn't like that much makeup, natural side, like, this is really good. So I'd definitely recommend it. Okay guys, I just finished and I am actually loving this mascara. This artist is a bit more curled, so I just put a little bit more on this side and it does give you a bit of a curl it really separates them it the length went from like zero to a hundred and i've got a couple dots here but apart from that the mascara didn't transfer i don't have like black eyes now this makeup makes me look all fancy i mean it makes me feel fancy i think everything is good apart from the brows let's move on to the last product i think yeah the last product and that is the lips I'm pretty sure this is a liquid lip. I didn't want to try the actual lipsticks or because that probably would have been crap anyway. Or their lip gloss. So I'm hoping this is a liquid lipstick. This is in the colour Latte 2. They have some really like weird colours. They have this one which is the nudist, I think. It's weird that I hate nude and all of a sudden I'm trying to get into nude. Good for the everyday look can't always be wearing like bright purple lips this is five mils it says intense color moisturizing formula with a matte finish so yeah guessing it is this is five millimeters oh god that looks light that looks hella light <laughs> oh great i feel like i should moisturize my lips just in case even though it's moisturizing formula good. Okay. Where is it at though? Oh my god, it's literally just disappeared into my lips. Can't see the colour. Oh god, I should have picked a purple setting. This ain't good. Well, it does feel moisturising. them. Second of all, oh my god, this smells amazing. It smells like a cake mix, it's sweet, oh my god, it smells amazing. So what you get from this is some products smell great and when they smell great they smell great and when they don't they're stanky. 
I just want to say this color is not good it gives you like a concealer type look it looks quite like a browny color but when you apply it it's so light be careful you don't eat it because that like, it's not even on my teeth or my uh, in my mouth and I can like taste the cakeness let's just call that it's a bit chunky like when you glide it on you get like a big like glump AJ Parker, AJ Parker. I don't know if you can see that it's like a big like chunk so it's not very smooth or liquidy okay I'm gonna leave that and see and let it dry to see if it is like a liquid lip or because it does say it's matte or if it is like a lip gloss oh my god I look dead you you might be thinking, oh, there's something wrong with this, but this colour. So, no, no, this is why I don't wear nude. Okay, and that is the end of the video. I'm going to let that dry. And let's just run over a few things. I feel like this video is going to be so long. Just a quick update. My lips, it's finally dried. They don't feel dry, dry. So, I wouldn't recommend it if you think this is a liquid lip. Because it's not. It still transfers a bit, but it's dried. It took a, it took a long time. It took about 20, 30 minutes. But I'm returning because I forgot I bought this. And so let's try and put it on. I heard you bought an eyeshadow stick. Apparently, it says it's velvety, soft, blendable eyeshadow pencil, waterproof and long-lasting, remove of waterproof eye makeup. So it's claiming some hefty things here. So I'm gonna put something in in a corner, maybe just a bit on my lid and just see how it looks. So if you can see, I think it brightened up my eye a little bit more. Okay, so it doesn't do much for the lid, so I definitely recommend if you're gonna use this, just use it in your inner corners to brighten up your eye. Okay, I just want to say this is really good. I put something in my inner corner and it has really brightened up my eyes. It has, I can't say if it's good or not compared because I haven't compared it to my other like, stick eyeshadow highlight type shadows. But I put it down my nose. It's giving me a nice highlight. And I like it's a stick because sometimes it's so annoying. And some sticks, they don't really... You can't really put them in your inner corner so I kind of have to like sometimes get my finger and... So this is like really handy. Yeah, to touch your eye. Good highlighter. My highlights are popping, but let's see. Yeah, you can use it as a cheek highlight. It does claim it's waterproof. I highly doubt that. And it's long lasting. The fact it says remove with waterproof eye makeup remover makes it sound like it ain't gonna come off unless you use a waterproof remover and I really just I doubt that I could just wipe this away and it would go so it's not as good as it claims to be but yeah but yeah I just want to show the eyeshadow I can't believe I forgot it when I was tidying up I saw this I was like where did that come from but yeah I really like this and I would yeah I would totally recommend it so here is the eyeshadow. To start with concealer, I wouldn't recommend the concealer it for sand. Like, come on, sand. It should be a bit dark, and that looks like fair. Okay, so I've got a bit of gathering under my eyes, but I don't know if that's due to the concealer or the foundation. I think it's the foundation, really. But it covered. Like, even you can see that. I've got no redness. Like, it's gone. Also, my contour is probably hiding that. I mean, it covers, but I just don't think it's good. But if you're on a budget, then again, if you're going away, if you're going away, I'd probably recommend you because it's like you won't care if it does this. I mean, no one's going to really see you or be going close to you to notice it. It covers, so that's all you need. If you lose it or it breaks, it doesn't matter because it's cheap, you can buy another one. But for an everyday use or someone who's quite into makeup, I wouldn't recommend it. Foundation, it looks good until I put the powder on and then I've got the powdery look. Okay, if you're like a teen, 
or a young teen and I would suggest this for school because it's very natural you do have coverage if you had bad acne I'm not sure how much that would cover because I don't but it's very good next so I would recommend that and it says it's long lasting so it should hopefully last the whole school day next powder I like the powder I really do look smooth but then at the same time I think that's all foundations and powders actually once you put a powder on foundation it gives you that look because I noticed when I said about my self and grew one it was fine and then I looked closely and it looked a bit cakey but I don't I just don't think that's the foundation I think that's foundation and powder mixed together but I think the only thing that can really sell that because I don't think it's a certain brand I think they all do that He's just buying a fixing spray and yeah letting that fix itself really like I said the brows is just a no-no I would not recommend you buy it unless you're looking for that natural and you've got the tail you've got everything there the brow but you just want a darker colour or fill in some hairs then maybe I think Emmy weighs pencils like a pound and you can get a tail and do everything else so yeah Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't even try the highlight colour. Let's put some under my brow bone. I feel like that did make one bit of a difference. I think that's a bit shimmery to use as the highlighter. I could probably use that as my cheek highlight that. This is quite shimmery, so bear that in mind. Shall we talk about the bronzer? I mean, I'm loving the bronzer. It is so natural looking. I would totally recommend anyone to try this out. I mean, it's not gonna break your bank if you don't like it. It's so natural. I was not sure about the color because I like dark contours, but it suits my skin tone. This highlight is so bad, like everyone. I was so, sh I'm like shook. I can't believe a pound highlighter it's like this blinding and even though it looks pink in the pan when I looked at it I was like mm. it looked like a pinky browning type I weren't really feeling it but on my skin it's more towards the white than the pink and I love white highlights great fun under the nose Cupid's bow like, 10 out of 10 like, this is good next lips let's see if they dried Okay, so it gets on your, your teeth. That's not cute. It says it's moisturising. I'm, I'm doing this and it's... It definitely isn't dried. I can feel it's definitely moisturising. But if you're looking for like a matte, stays on your lips, doesn't move type lip, then I wouldn't recommend this because it's not dry because it's moving about it's moisturising and it gets on your teeth so clearly it transfers and I ain't feeling this colour but it's also pants so if you like the look of it you can try it but I definitely won't be using this again I can't even sell it I mean it's a pound shipping costs more than that so yeah that is I haven't missed anything. Oh yeah, how can I forget the eyes? Okay, so I didn't get a eyeshadow. Like I love the eyeliner. I'm like it's amazing. It's pigmented. Like it's not just. You only get them glitter eyeliners where they're doing it. And it looks like there's just glitter spread across. Like it looks like you put like a grey eyeliner and then you put glitter on. Like it's that pigmented. I would recommend totally. Which brings me on to mascara. I would definitely recommend. It made my lashes quite long. It's giving it a curl, so it does everything it says on the bottle. And overall, I am happy. My under eyes is definitely it's like gathered. I do not know if it's the concealer or the foundation. So be wary about that. Okay, guys, I am so shocked that this brand. This brand. Well, the brand is Makeup Gallery that 
it is done so well that I am shook to the core. The only thing I want to suggest is the lips and the brows. Apart from that, anything is is great. Not very good on the shades. Like they don't have any other foundation. So keep in mind, this is probably a line that you'd want to just have a few products in your makeup collection. But yeah, overall, I have nothing else to say. Like. It looks so good. I could actually go out in this and like it'd be fine. I just have to like remove the brows, but because they look hella weird in real life. But yeah, there's nothing else to say about this. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until then, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>